Hey guys, how's it going? Jim here. Been a while, but I uh, figured I'd give you guys a layout update. The Christmas season is upon us. Uh, this has been up for a couple weeks now, but I've slowly been adding to it. This is what the display, at least part of it, will look like. So as you can see, got a lot of stuff there. As you can see on the left wall there, I've got uh, my airline poster, so you guys won't be seeing that because it's got the company logo on it. But... Uh, that's where I did all my training over the summer, right in that chair there, against uh, that poster right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, filming this a little ahead of time and getting ready for the uh, time to put up trees because well, that's what the switching you'll see in a minute is, is I'm getting all the tracks and stuff into the yard, all the trains and stuff into the yard, so that way uh, it doesn't get trampled when we put the tree right uh, there. So we just got the power house. we got the 180 brick with the legacy um tried something different this year i've got the legacy hooked straight into the ground on the transformer and it seems to work in a heck of a lot better um so i think i'm gonna make that permanent get some um uh, wire ends and take care of that this year we've got 096 in a lot of places we got 096 there 196 there and the bump out over in that area that's 096 and then the joining back in is 096 as well reason being i, I like the look of it uh, i don't have enough money or space to do 096 corners but for these little s turns 096 is perfect because as you can see it kind of i can bunch up the gap that starts there look how small it is over there so I'm really liking it. Um, yeah. So far, just a few of the buildings I'm holding out. I'm putting out most of the decorations just because of the tree. Once we get the tree up, I'll get most of the buildings out. We'll get the little village going. Over here, we've got a different addition to the yard. Um, kind of wraps around the corner now. I like it a lot more. So I got more space to store stuff. I'm looking at buying some more uh, different uh, road name of passenger cars to haul behind some other locomotives. Um, so I gotta have a, a lot more storage if I'm gonna do that. Because uh, I don't think I'll be able to run both. Because I can tell you that this freight train isn't gonna fit in the yard. Um, no matter how hard I try. And as you can see, there's most of the locomotives are out already. Um, and most of the cars, I think all the cars actually, all the scale ones. But uh, most of the locomotives, because a couple of them are still in boxes. Uh, the Boy Scouts needs work. 844 needs work. And so does 3751. So I sent a 513 out. The place I sent it to returned to me worse than it came. So uh, I need to find another shop. Um, I guess the next nearest one would be Milwaukee. Because uh, none, none of the ones in the Chicago area, other than the one that I took 513 to, um, work on legacy locomotives. So, that'll be fun. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, there's nothing really that new. I, th I don't know if I updated you guys, but that car I bought right towards the end of the last season. Um, otherwise, the layout is pretty much unchanged. Other than the yard, um, and the, uh, the slightly larger main line. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, and uh, stay tuned for some switching to get all these, get a bunch of these cars into the yard. And the ones that you'll see are actually all 036, so that's why I was having to break them all up. I'll get to another shot, a couple of more shots maybe here of uh, me getting as many of these in as I can but it's not gonna be too many because I'm gonna try to protect as much as I can from that bridge to the wall there um, because the tree is gonna come through that pathway right there um, so it's gonna be a bit of a pain but um, yeah that'll be my November 1st project more than likely hope you guys enjoyed take care have a great day on a side note I did uh, order trucks and replace them on both of those double stacks there. I don't know if I told you guys about that, but uh, none of the couplers were holding, uh, except for, I think, one. So that's why you saw the double stacks at the end of the train. 
in the previous years. Uh, but now those are all functional. I just have to fix that tin car there. Um, the one coupler can't hold anything, but I can't get the truck off because the nut on the inside is just spinning. So that'll be a fun one to figure out. I do have an extra truck to fix it, but it's kind of low on my priority list at the moment because um, I'm going to gotta go to work uh, tomorrow. Oh, you guys will see this while I'm at work <laughs> on a trip. I did try ordering parts from Lionel. They sent me this monstrosity in comparison to um, the trucks that are supposed to be on it, which they were, they swivel and they had the, the thumbtack under the truck itself. Um, and they, I also ordered a new smokestack for 3751, so it's not chipped paint. But they sent me the new 3751 stack, not the old one. Twice now. now I got you know, two sets of these now. Uh, so I'll probably be trying to return that stuff just because, I mean, I don't need to be holding on to this stuff that doesn't fit any of my trains. Yeah, I did also order a drawbar for 844. Uh, I think that's the problem. So hopefully that fixes it whenever I can find the shop or drive to Milwaukee. Because 844 is in this box. It didn't come with a box and... Uh, I can't imagine what it would cost to ship. And I really don't want to ship it because it's just bubble wrap in there. There's no styrofoam or anything to protect the locomotive. So I feel like that would do more damage than good. So if anyone has any recommendations in the Chicago, Milwaukee, northern Indiana areas, please let me know. Um, I'm willing to make a road trip at this point because I can't ship this one. And I don't want to ship uh, 2010. Uh, I want to find a reputable shop before I uh, establish. I want to establish a reputation with a shop before I send my prized locomotive to it. So yeah, just finishing up cleaning up here, and uh, there'll be a, a tree in the next video. <laughs>